Once you have defeated the Arch Illager for the very first time, you will unlock a kind of like weird long cathedral looking ass building where you'll run all the way down to anything and it'll look like there is a button that you press and it will have these glowing purple markers kind of thing. One of them is actually from beating the Arch Illager. The rest of them are collected in all of the different levels to kind of open a portal to a secret level. You can find the first rune in Creeper Woods. We can actually play this at any difficulty to make it go as fast as you want, or just, you know, keep going. So as you get to the level where you have to free the villagers in this exact location here, you can basically just run all the way to the left here, following the path I'm taking on screen, and head through the forest here, and you'll see there's a button in these weird rocks over here, and a kind of entrance to a cave will open up here, and once you go in here, you'll spawn in this weird kind of, like, pillared world where there's, like, purple everywhere and you press this button here and a orb a ruin will kind of come up in the middle of this and all you have to do is pick it up make sure you actually pick it up and then you can basically return to camp you don't have to finish the game but if you do want to finish the level you can also do that the next rune can be found in soggy swamp right after you kill the cauldron right at the end of the level before you actually end it run over to this weird pillar thing here press the button hidden in the mushrooms and the kind of portal will open up here to that world the next one can be found in pumpkin postures by finding this ravine and running towards the stone kind of buildings here until you get to the kind of this wall over here. Once you're at this wall, you'll see right behind these crates over here, there is a button just hidden there waiting for you to press it and a door will open up right at the back there to that purple world. The next one is over in Cacti Canyon, right before you get the blue key. You basically come around this little section here, press a little button there next to the palm tree. Uh, you'll have to fight a little quick level here. Once you've beat that, you'll be able to find the entrance to that purple world right over there. In the Redstone Mines, you're going to want to save the first set of villagers and move on to the second set of villagers that need to be saved. And head right over to the left side of the map there. You'll see if you go up to the left over here where I am right now, press this little button over here and a doorway will open up right over there. This is by the exit kind of entry like pathway there so that's how you find it up next in the fiery forge you're going to want to basically run to this first kind of portal over here that takes you to this level over here we have to climb the mountain but instead of going to the mountain go to the bottom over here and you'll see there is a switch on the wall that will open up a kind of entryway right next to it to get our next rune, we gotta go to the Desert Temple just before the Gold Key Wall. We're gonna head over to the Gold Key, which is right over here, but right after the room with the Gold Key, you'll see there is, behind this tree, there is a switch on the wall here, and when you press the switch here, a gateway will kind of like fall out of this kind of wall over here, which looks pretty cool. In the high block hole level where you get to the outside of the map, this kind of like outer courtyard, you're going to head to the top right of the map here and walk up these stairs and keep heading this kind of direction on the top here. Kill everything in the area just so that you're safe. And you'll see one of the weird like light posts there is actually not like a light. It's actually like a switch and you can like turn it to the right and it will open. Here's the map for reference and that's where it is. The final rune can be found in Obsidian Pinnacle once you enter the final castle over here and head towards this wide open area that you'll see right now on screen. This wide open area here where there's like just there's lots of open space. Kill everything quickly and then you'll see right at this bookcase here there is a kind of a book that you can press and it will open up to a room that doesn't take you to a different portal blue purple world but rather it actually has the switch here with some loot which is pretty cool. Now that you've got all the runes, you can head back into that main cathedral area right off to this little bridge in your town area. Head all the way to the back there, press the button. You've collected all the runes, they've all lit on up, and a kind of portal will open up right over here. Now when you go in here, it won't actually take you into a level, it will take you into a room where you can unlock the level. There's also two black secret chests here, which will give you some cool items. I recommend setting your difficulty to a higher difficulty before you do that. And yeah, now you can see the new level is right over here above Creeper Woods. You can do it, you can select it, you can do it in any difficulty you want, like you can do it in one of the easier default difficulties, or even on a harder difficulty, which is pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the guide, and I'll see you in my next Minecraft Dungeons video. And as always, thanks for watching.